So this SMH semiconductors ran ran into the declining 200 day and we got a perfect rejection. We got some perfect short setups in ASML Soxel. What exciting times we live in. For those of you following the crypto <laughs> drama going on. Holy shit, man. Turns out if you're worth 16 billion of nothing, it equals to zero. Who would have thought? How was the Netherlands? I haven't <laughs> I haven't been there yet. I got some engine failure in southern Sweden, so my boat is in southern Sweden right now. Let's see if we can find some support in the markets. Russell is almost at the 20 day. Spies are a bit higher. Qs are nearing to 10. Yeah, okay. I think we need a little bit more selling before we reach the support areas. RLX. Yeah, if we can tighten up another day or two. Yeah, FSLR has been the strongest strongest uh, growth or momentum stock over the past four months. MSDR. <laughs> yeah, Bitcoin just dips a little bit more. This thing is a zero. If you think it's a good idea to ask me what broker I use 11 minutes after market open and 15 minutes after I told you guys to follow the instruction on the screen, you know, you will get banned. Yeah, that's right. Crypto markets right now, it's like the stock market in the early 1900s with the bucket shops and everything. Everyone who's read Livermore, which everyone should have. Bucket shops, it was pretty much like exchanges where you bought and sold stocks, but the orders didn't go to the market. You were essentially paper trading for real money and then you paid commissions on it. And you could do it with a lot of leverage. And the problem for Livermore was since he, he was one of the very few who constantly made money. Or not constantly, but uh, you know, regularly made money. They didn't want him there because they didn't want profitable customers. Because those profits came from the bucket shop pockets. They only wanted losing customers. Since the markets didn't go, since the orders didn't go to the market. Baba EP? No, it's not. What the fuck are you talking about? Where's the EP on Baba? I think you need to go and follow the instructions on the screen. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. There's so many people that haven't, that really don't understand what we do here, that don't understand these basic concepts because they haven't followed the instructions on the screen and they have chatting privileges because I haven't been streaming for a few past few months. <laughs> Burn. Flag setup. Yeah, Burn had a beautiful breakout. SC from yesterday. Yeah. But these downtrending ones are very tough. They tend to get rejected at these declining moving averages. Sometimes they can go, but I don't know. I really don't like these down, downs, uh, you know, the EPs that came come off lows. And right now we are, yeah, nah, not really my thing. Damn, Russell is super weak. Hitting the lows. This coupang is interesting. They actually is turned to a profit now. And it's been setting up for uh, many months. But still the market is kind of heavy. So it's not, it's not going to go anywhere. It's still, it's definitely bottoming here. And profits, that's what the market wants to see in this environment. <laughs> Isn't this like a Druckenmiller holding? I think they bought more recently. Ari? Yeah, I've seen Ari. It's one of the solar names. Yeah, the super numbers, super estimates too. Could make a big move if the market uh, shapes up better. PDSB? Breakout? Uh, it was an EP. But it was coming off, uh, like, it was a breakout EP. Yeah, it was beautiful. Then there was a beautiful breakout in CCL also. Yeah, solars are yeah super strong, incredibly strong. You found a solution to your overtrading problem, gaming. Yeah, I've known of that life hack for many years. I used to trade on the stream years ago when I was bored. Did I watch the latest Griffin Bloomberg interview? It's the one where he uh, warned for a depression, instant depression. If the Taiwanese semis were cut off, I haven't seen it. I, maybe I should. C can you post a link? That would be nice. I always. I, I love bear porn. It's the best. 99.9% .9 of it doesn't happen. 
But that 0.1% that happens, that fucks everything up. Gold and silver. Silver got rejected and declining 200. Gold got rejected and declining 150. Yeah, these um, crypto related things are kind of um, bear flagging, maybe? I don't know. ON. What about this? Not too far from breakout. I don't see anything here. It's just, just choppy name. Do I still do parabolic shorts? Okay, how many opportunities have we had this year? Two? Three? Yes, I do. PR? Well, what do you see here? I just see a very choppy commodity stock. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the stream.